say LLB Vintage and Pretties. We've been here about three weeks now, and we are really, really excited about the way things are coming along. Uh, it seems like every day we're changing something around, or new products are coming in. Uh, yesterday we did our toy area, as you can see down here on the floor. We've got some uh, Hello Kitty products and toys for boys and babies. And over here is our men's area for ties and tie clasps, shoes for men. So we're trying to get a little bit of everything in here for everybody, especially men, because they come in here with their wives and they just go, do I have to? So we're gonna give you something to look at as well. These are um, Jerry Garcia ties, which are very well sought out and wanted. So we do have a bunch of those and they're very, very pretty. Love them. And then over here, you see that this is our baby area. So we've got a lot of planters that you can pick from and they would go beautifully in a new nursery. These are obviously vintage. And what I think might look really pretty in here are air plants or um, baby's breath would look really pretty in those as well. And here we have some little ruffled butt covers for babies. And we have hats. And then there's our little baby who models everything. She doesn't have a name yet, so if y'all want to help me name her, that would be great. Then over here on this side, we have hand crocheted items, baby dresses, baby blankets. Uh, here is one of our most popular little baby dresses. It's a confirmation. You see that it has a cross, but the cross can come off. It's tied in the back. So you can take that off or leave it on for pictures, whatever way that you want to do it. So we do have a lot of uh, vintage baby stuff. We also have, or not vintage, just baby stuff, Christmas dresses, little hats that go with them. So just think how beautiful your little girl would look in that for Christmas. Up here we have uh, handmade cruel projects, handmade purses. And then, of course, baby blankets and uh, women's shawls and cowls. And I'll show you one of those right now. And while you're here, you can pick out your, sh your shawl and your pin because we do carry the pins as well. But this is a hand crochet. And when you wear this, you can wear it up over your shoulders like this and put a shawl pin right here. Over here, we have our critter shelf. And we have horses and pigs and kitties and some of some very funny faces. These kitties have funny faces, but we like them. And then we also have some vintage kitties. These are uh, the Burn Man kitty. He's quite old. He's probably about 60 years old. And we have horses. We have Avon kitties. We have white kitties. We have big fat pigs. And a lot of elephants. And up on the top shelf, you'll see that we have a Google-eyed bird, pelican, with a fish in his mouth. And he runs about $25. He's not terribly expensive. Up on the wall here, we have some original Peggy Eaton watercolors. Her father framed those for her. The company is out of Canada, was out of Canada, and the name of the company was T. Eaton. Over here, 
we have the most delightful salt and pepper shakers. And we also have another Avon collection down in here where it's got the Skin So Soft um, containers. We also have really cute, very old salt and pepper shakers here. And this little guy fucks on a, on a stump. And we also have Fitz and Floyd salt and pepper shakers. Up here we have our fall stuff started. So we've got fairy lamps, fairy lights, whatever you like call them. Little squirrels and pumpkins and bigger pumpkins and Tom the turkey. He's ready to be filled with some candy or flowers or whatever you want to do with them. Have a little bit of tea with your Thanksgiving items. Here we have two uh, radios. This one is radio, DVD, CD. Uh, this is not old, this is new, along with this one. They just look vintage and fun, so we have those. Over here we do have some glass from different areas. We have some pieces from China down there, which is an ink well and pens. We have these pretty pink retro We also have Wedgwood. And then over in that area, whatever kind of teapot you would ever want to have is in here. We have fish teapots, this little guy. And he's a little harder to find, so he's a little rare. But he only runs $24.99, which is a good price for him. And if you want cat teapots, I've got cat teapots. Here's a little cute one that's extremely old. And she just lost her cat. So, anyway, we've got them. We also have uh, these little teapots that are... Zishka <laughs> uh, teapots that are made with purple clay from China. So those are fun. Got all kinds, like I said, all kinds of little teapots that you would enjoy looking at. And then inside here we have extra linens that you can purchase. Antique. Vintage, they're old, 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 old. Down here, we have a camphor box. And when you open it up, you can still smell the camphor in it. And this is hand carved. And over here, we just have a little bit of an assortment of things. We, of course, have the M&M guy. Gotta have the M&M guy. <laughs> and some beautiful vintage plates some uh, reticulated plates. There's a funny story about this set of Friskin uh, set. I got this pot in Colorado and then I bought the plates here. You would never think you'd be able to find stuff in two different spots like that, but I did. Over here on this table, we have our Lennox set up. As you can see, some of it's very old. This is a very pretty piece, and that's uh, $38. And this piece, which again is really pretty too. This is not vintage, I just thought it was cute. And then we have the Misaka area. So we have a lot of little Christmas plates. And then over here in this area, we just have cut crystal. Divider trays, so you could use this as a uh, hors d'oeuvre not hors d'oeuvre, uh, 
pickles and black olives and that type of thing in there, a divider plate. And then over here we just have other crystal pieces. Over here, we do have another assortment of Japanese Chinese art that's really pretty. And uh, you can tell a good art piece. This is probably not the best to show you, but if you can see the leaves, this has a little bit of gold in it, you can see that. But if you can see the separation in the leaves, it makes it a better piece. Sunday cups. So you can make yourself crazy with eating Sundays. Or putting anything, chocolate pudding is the best in those with whipped cream on the top. Then we've got some goblets here for you. Over here we have some Baronet Bavarian fruit plates. And these are uh, not to eat on, these are just for decoration. We have a little bit of pink glass, PR Russia, a little rooster. Down here, we didn't look in here when we were over here, but we have Christmas plates and bowls that you could get for your table for Christmas. We'll be setting those up later. Here on our wall are just some wall hangings. This is a planter that you could put your plant in. And it's, it's a beautiful blue. Over here we have this stuff that looks more Italian that I think are very pretty pieces. I like Italian pieces. Over here we have pie plates. A little dachshund. He's cute. You know they make purses that look like this as well. Uh, I never seen a dachshund dog. Over here is our little collection of ashtrays. And for some reason I keep running into ashtrays. But these are from the 1950s. And they look like a basket, but they're actually an ashtray. I don't know who would ever use one as an ashtray brass ashtrays. This is a Libby's cigar ashtray and you can tell that by how wide the mouth is here. Some Anchor Hawking white glass, white milk glass, and then some mid-century ashtrays. Over here in this area we do have this uh, hors d'oeuvre dish with a little fish and the holes are very confusing, especially to me at first. And what you do is you put toothpicks in them. So let's say you have cheese over here and black olives here. You just take a toothpick out, jab it, and eat it up. <clears throat> here we have a corn set, which is also very antique or very vintage, I should say. There are a lot more pieces that go with it. Right now, I don't have any of the other pieces. And we have Fat Cat down here, a little blue guy. And we have a quail hen on a nest, a cornflower blue hen on a nest. And we also have some old fish plates, older fish plates. So when you serve your chicken or fish or whatever, you can take, take your bones and put them in your plates instead of setting them on your regular plate. So we have those. Over here is Christmas. I like Christmas. Uh, the tree is not 100% decorated, but it's not Christmas time yet. We're near the season. So I will have this all decorated out in a month or so. I'm excited about that. I like Christmas a lot. Over here we have a lot of little Christmas things. I like Christmas mugs and Christmas cookie jars and that type of thing. We have penguins and we have Santa Claus and we have the snowmen. 
So these are, these are a lot of fun. And we have the Christmas curtain. Over here, this is our favorite table. Because um, there's just fun vintage stuff on it. And this is the uh, bowls and plates, the Bardello. And this is the Cabbage Patch. Then we have green glass, brush glass, and we have um, hall, and we do have some hall, H-A-L-L. -L. Behind them are the Majolica plates, berries and birds. Over here we have just an absolutely beautiful artistic accent bowl plate whatever you want to call it but it's absolutely gorgeous then over here in our window up at the top you can see that we have a few whiskey bottles this little guy up here is a schnapps holder the hydro schnapps from your wife. <laughs> we have some uh, blue cobalt zipper vases right next to the milk glass. We have art glass rooster. We have a lot of different art glass that's very pretty. But that's a quick tour of our store for the opening. Come on down and see us. We'd be happy to meet you. We also have a book for you to sign into. And if you'd like me to look for something for you in particular, uh, let me know and I'll go out hunting for it in the wild, as we call it. Thank you very much for watching this. Talk to you later.